Right. Bismillah. Alhamdulillah. Salatu salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sallam wa ala. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone's fine, especially in this weather. I know it's quite a long time since I've um, uploaded something. So today's topic, again, based on my observations, based on the conversations I'm having with people, um, it's quite a broad topic, but it's important that I cover it for the benefit of the wider society, benefit of the ummah. And that is the concept of marriage. You know, marriage is a, indeed a beautiful thing. Um, people who are my age, my generation, they would find it quite outdated, backdated. No, I, I know they find it backdated, outdated for many reasons. Um, but people who may not find it backdated, outdated, they may have some reasons as well. So let's just debunk that. Let's talk about marriage. So, of course, it's been going on for a very long time, since time immemorial. From the time of Adam and Eve, these two individuals, they got married, they had children, their children had their children, their children had their children, and so on and so forward. And now, of course, all of a sudden, with all the agendas of 2022, 20th century, a lot of things are coming along and people think that it's all about independence, it's all about isms and schisms that are out there. However, I think when it comes to marriage in itself, it makes you mature, it makes you responsible, especially as a male. It makes you responsible because you do not want to be going around places doing things that are, you know, if I may put it in a way, it's mad thing, doing something that is despicable, doing something that is immoral. Now, I know immoral, that topic in itself is quite subjective. Some people may say, I'm doing this, that's not immoral, while other people, they will say it is immoral. Never mind. But, but it's just, at the end of the day, if you think about marriage, you're just going to be settling down with somebody. At the end of the day, you'll be sending down with somebody. So why do things go around, think, go going around places, going around to people, and then not to sound objectifying, but tasting different dishes when you're going to, when you know yourself that it's going to be dal chawal for the rest of your life. It's going to be roti and sabzi for the rest of your life. And um, another thing is that marriage is very different than what it was. In 1980s 1990s and early 2000s as opposed to how it's being done in 2019 2020 so on and so forth because those times early 90s late 90s they knew as a husband they knew what their responsibility was and as a wife they knew what their responsibility was now everyone wants their own rights everyone wants their own freedom so it gets confusing but the thing is you have to realize and that is God, Allah, Jehovah. He has created us in such a way that we have our inherent traits. As a male, again, without you know, without being sound any um, misogynistic or something, but as a male, there's that leadership. And as a female, you have an empathy, right? Females, they want attention. Females, they want validation. Females, they, they want to feel protected and secured. Whereas male, again, these are all psychological facts. As a male, they want respect. As a male, they want love. And, and of course, females, they want, love, they want love as well. So so that's why, again, you have to stick to the inherent nature. No doubt, okay, you want to work, no problem, especially with the cost of living going up high. Females, you want to work. Male, you want to work. Yes, in the UK, in the West, you're literally living hand to mouth. So you don't want to be in that situation. But you just need to realize that know your responsibility, know your purpose of marriage. Marriage is about togetherness. Marriage is about understanding. And marriage is about compromise. If you're going to be asking for your rights, 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 you're, lo you're losing respect. It's like you're not being given rights. You know, if you were back in, you know, before Christ to those times, the way females, they were treated, similarly with males, some males of lower society, the way they were treated, so you're in paradise right now. But of course, for the sake of God, for the sake of Allah, of course, just compromise, understand. You know, people, they would have, um, as, your husband, as your husband, he may have some issues. Your wife, they may have some issues, but try to compromise, try, try to communicate. Because those times, if people of 1980s, our parents, our ancestors, if they were able to have a lifetime relationship, lifetime, lifetime commitment, why can't we have it? Of course we can, especially the amount of knowledge available on social media, knowledge available on the net, 
is absolutely brilliant. Take advantage of these situations. Scholars are out there as well. My message to them is that you're always, of course, empowering our female sisters. But of course, you have to tell them that they have to ensure that they are balancing out. You know, the rights of husband that needs to be fulfilled. Similarly, husbands, they need to understand the rights of wives. That, that must be fulfilled as well. Work together. Marriage is about friendship. Marriage is about teamwork. Myself being single, I can, there are things I cannot do that the couples are able to do. Couples are able to have fun together. Couples are able to enjoy life with their family members, with their children. And as a bachelor, an individual, they, he cannot do that. So that's what marriage is about. It's about support. It's about love. And it's about commitment. It's about, you know, contributing towards their family. You know, because otherwise a person just, you know, I mean, there's no wonder why people would be going around and quote unquote, um, tasting dishes as one of the one person, as the imam said once long time ago, as I was, doing, you know, as I'm quoting him, tasting dishes. So just know your purpose, know your responsibility and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help. Hopefully this video made sense. Um, if not, um, of course, I can explain in the comment section as well. I know I appreciate I was going from places to places regarding marriage, regarding commitment. Thank you. Take care. Bye.